Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope you enjoy it. Today I'm showing you the baby boomer or ombre, French ombre style nail. I attempted this for my very first time and I'm not gonna lie you guys it took me like a day and a half because I did one hand yesterday I did the other today and it was just a really hard process and I filmed it and I wanted to show it to you guys so um, I did the first two nails as a practice these nails are actually a lot harder than they look um, as you can see I'm starting off with absolutely nothing on my nails I'm using the McCart nail extension gel kit I've shown you guys this on my channel before um, I did cut away some of the length than what you're seeing right here I ended up like filing down my nails quite a bit but let's just get started so I'm using dual forms because the other two nails I did with a just like a sticker form and it was really really tough and it was really time-consuming so I highly recommend using dual forms and the way that I did it in the beginning was I just buffed the nail plate a little bit and or the nail bed I had some of you guys commenting like stop calling it the nail plate um, the nail bed and I'm just prepping it with some base coat gel base gel this comes with a kit so you don't have to purchase this extra and then I'm using the McCart LED lamp um, the dual forms are pretty easy to use all you do is just squeeze out a bead of poly gel into the dual form um, I would recommend using the spatula and not just like putting it straight into the dual form you can tend to get like excess and you don't want it squeezing or oozing out the side it's just a waste of product number one and number two like it's just too much product to handle this um, formula is pretty sticky, so I would recommend having um, an alcohol slip with 70 to 90% isopropyl alcohol next to you. Um, I'm using 70% here, and I have already dipped my brush into the alcohol, and I am kind of smoothing away at the, the ridges and just making sure that it's kind of flat. It's not super thick of a bead, so that when I squish it onto my nail, not everything is just kind of oozing out the side. Um, so once I have kind of flattened it out, out to the desired length and shape that I want I press it into my cuticle and just press it down once you have placed the dual form with the formula on your nail I'd recommend going behind the nail and kind of smoothing it out just so that you don't have a huge lump or ridge underneath the nail when you cure it in the light but once you kind of remove the excess product and cure it in the light you should be able to wiggle the dual form and it pops right off like you can see um, this nail file and everything I've used so far has all come with the kit which is a really affordable price um, especially because getting these nails done at a salon costs you about like $70 if you're gonna do acrylic or um, gel and once I filed my nail down to the desired shape and you also want to file the actual bed of the nail as well um, I go in with the white color again this comes with the kit and then I just scrape a little bit at the tip of the nail um, dip my brush in and then this is where it was just so time-consuming because um, I found that it was really hard to work with this product to really get that smooth kind of blended look number one I think there's a lot of ways a lot of different ways that you could make this easier on yourself like just using white nail polish could have been probably a lot easier even gel polish would have been a lot easier but I'm just using completely poly gel which just means that the formula of this gel is so thick it's so sticky and I just spent pretty much 30 minutes playing around and moving around my white poly gel um, like you're seeing this was literally like 30 minutes of my time I was pulling it and pushing it and moving it all around until I felt like it looked kind of somewhat blended but even then um, it's looking streaky on some of my nails especially my left hand you guys are probably wondering how I even did my left hand I couldn't even film it because my back was like literally hunched over and I was like trying to do my nails and there was just no way I could film the left hand process it was just a mess but I finally completed it and again this kind of process just takes a lot of time like I said I would recommend maybe doing this with a white gel polish or a nail polish if you're gonna do these nails but you just really want to spend that time blending it out and if you feel like you've used too much product like I probably did here I ended up actually pulling away a little bit and wiping off the brush like just getting rid of some of the white product um, you want to pull it pretty far to your cuticle because we're actually going to use the um, natural pink poly gel color over the top of the white um, which kind of makes that blended look even more natural and just kind of more um, 
like you got it done, I guess. Um, I would recommend honestly getting these nails done. I don't think it's worth it to do this on your own, but I just tried it. So I cured it in the light and then I'm just kind of scraping away my cuticles because they had like little pieces that hardened um, that I just kind of flaked away and picked up. And then I took my nail file again and just kind of filed it to my desired shape. The thing is with this poly gel, um, the tendency for your actual nail, like the acrylic part to be really thick is really high. So um, I ended up spending a lot of time shaving the nail because it's just such a thick nail. This poly gel cures really quickly under the light and when you put it in the dual form, you don't have the um, kind of like control to control how thick you make the nail if that makes sense so it kind of can come out really thick you just want to keep that in mind when you're using this kind of stuff next you want to scrape out a little bit of natural pink poly gel this was a little bit too much i found but i just placed it and pushed it right into the cuticle because we used to clear um, i just found that it looked like clear and then streaky white on top which i thought was really ugly so then i took the natural pink and um just pulled it over the top of the white which didn't detract at all from how bright the white is that's what i love about this mccart system like the colors are amazing but the formula is really really sticky just so you guys have a heads up if you're planning on purchasing this so like i said maybe getting like a thin sheer um like clear maybe like um bubble bath or put it in neutral by opi and just kind of doing that over the nail part at this point would have been a better option um, i don't have those and i'm just using it completely with this gel kit um which is great because you get all of the stuff in one kit and you can do a hundred million different designs because this also comes with glitter i'll leave all the links down below for you guys but anyways it's the same exact process but you just pull it now forward or to the tip of the nail versus backward where you did it with the white and now i'm just using the nail file again to just file away at the shape of my nail um and i typically go for a, a pretty square shape i found that my nails ended up looking really like trident gum like you know like those gum squares i think you guys know what i'm talking about but it kind of came out like that not the happiest with the shape but again i think if i had like an e-file or um something like that it would have come out a little bit better um it is a lot of handwork it's a lot of filing so my hands were so tired after this i spent like a solid four hours on just this hand which sounds crazy because it's like wow what a waste of time and it really is i don't recommend like you doing this for four hours at all but i was just interested to see what would happen if i tried this nail out um again i kind of scraped away too much of the white so i went back and i put more white on top which is the best part about this like you can keep building the nail um but and you can cure it and it's totally fine so this is the ring finger cured and the dual form pulled off again with the clear and then i take the white after i have shaved the nail down and then i just kind of pull it around until it looks like that ombre baby boomer look i don't even know where that name comes from but that's um what i'm doing here and i'm just pulling it away to towards my cuticle um and then it kind of gives that that blended look you don't want to have your um brush be too wet because the more wet it is it actually pulls up the formula of the poly gel it doesn't actually like stay on so you just want to keep that in mind like make sure you guys aren't using too much alcohol at one time because it'll not let the poly gel poly gel stick um as you can see i'm like putting more down on certain edges and scraping off more on other sides and it's just kind of a process with this system and with this design so um this brush actually comes with a kit again and it's really handy to do really amazing nail art um, like this one here and i think if i had left the nails a little bit longer in length it actually might have looked a little bit better here i'm using the top it off top coat um but i realized that i didn't need to do it on my ring finger so i used some alcohol and i just wiped it off that's what i love about gel systems like if you have any mistakes um, before you cure it in light you can just wipe it off and do it again um now i'm using natural pink and doing the same process um wetting my brush with the isopropyl alcohol and just pushing it a little bit towards my cuticle um and just giving it that really natural ridge you don't want it to be like a stump or like a step from the side profile of the nail you want it to be really smooth from cuticle to the tip so um, because of the short 
like length of my nails i didn't actually have to build this huge apex because i don't have a lot of length for my nail to hold on to um i recommend making the white actually a little bit like three-fourths of your nail and then allowing the pink to cover the fourth of your nail because i stopped the half with my ring finger and it just looks a little bit not as good in my experience and um, when i'm using the dual forms with the system i found that it's really important to not put too much product in because um, a little goes a long way so once i've cured it and as you can see um, i have a lot of excess white as i'm using this and i can just pull it away and then um just kind of use less and then kind of use more so that's what i recommend less is more with this system um pull the white more towards the cuticle um because as you can see my, see my ring finger it stops halfway and it does just doesn't look as good like it doesn't give that full gradient effect so pull more to your cuticle um and just don't be shy and um yeah make sure you clean up the cuticle like i am here with the isopropyl alcohol um once i cured it in the light i kind of wipe away at the sticky residue and then i just top it off with a thin layer of top coat if i were to do these nails again like i said i would use like gel polish to do this part and just if i wanted an extension nail i would have just used dual forms with the clear color and then just done um the gel polish because it would have been a lot easier but i did find that it's a stronger nail it's thicker and um yeah it's just stronger in general because i'm using another layer of poly gel but again it took me like half a day so this is my left hand done um i didn't film me doing my right hand just because i told you guys like it was so hard i was hunched over and um just doing it was the longest process in the entire world so i was watching game of thrones while i was doing it which probably didn't help with how long it took me but um yeah these are my completed nails and i really am interested to see what you guys think in the comments down below please um leave me some comments let me know if you're a nail tech and um, what you would recommend to me the next time i do these nails again probably won't do them again but you know hey comments are open for you guys um don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter um and if you guys like more nail vlogs and want more of these types of videos then give this video a big thumbs up i hope you enjoyed it and um i'm looking forward to see you guys in my next video bye